What do you got? All right. Uh, how has Will looked, and what do you think his readiness is for potentially playing Sunday? Uh, Ryan will start, and Will will be the third quarterback. What, when you see these guys taking these position group pictures and kind of doing some of these wrap-up things, uh, what goes through your mind for this group as they get ready to finish the season? Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't see any pictures, so I don't know what that, that is. But I, my focus is on finishing strong, finishing with a win, finishing with class, and uh, and making this thing uh, right. You know, on on Sunday. That that's what the focus is. And I know that uh, you know there'll, there'll be a lot of different moving parts. And uh, but I appreciate you know the way that they've tried to approach. Uh, the, this week here, this final week, and uh, you know it's a great opportunity to, every time we go out there to do something amazing, individually and then obviously as a team. Um, with Ryan, what what is it? What would it mean for you guys to uh, send him out on a good note with everything that he's done and just his career here? Uh, again, it would be about the team. It wouldn't be about one particular player. Um, I think that's what the, the focus is, is trying to, uh, you know, again, play these games that give us a chance to to win, you know, to where you, know, you convert some third downs, extend the drive, hit some plays, hit, you know, move, change field position, finish uh, drive with points, and then also, you know, get some stops defensively and, use the special teams, make all those things that we talk about. And so and Ryan will be a large part of that, of making that happen uh, and, and helping us. You've kind of been obviously working with the team since, since it came together at the beginning of May. Uh, any kind of sentimental feelings as you're headed to the last game, knowing today's the, the last practice, I know you got to walk through tomorrow, but what kind of goes through a coach's mind when you know this is your last run with these guys? Uh, I think it's just about, uh, you know, again, the, the, the one message of focus on this week and not focusing on um, things that, that could or could not happen uh, in the future. You know, it's just literally focusing on uh, getting guys ready, continue to clean up uh, the details that are going to be so critical and, you know, get them as healthy as they can and get them ready to, to go out and have confidence in what they're doing. Like, that's what this comes down to. And then, you know, at that point in time, um, you know, we'll have – We'll have meetings and go in, you know, different directions. How do you feel like the guys have handled keeping that focus? This I week think they have time? handled it well, as you know, I mean, again, as well as possible. It's not something that you prepare for or you know, get used to. You try to, you know, stay as consistent as possible as the messaging and what you're showing them and you know what you're trying to get them ready to do, and then uh, you know, do that all the way up until game time. Obviously, we've seen the leadership from Ryan many times before, but how has he set the tone for that focus you wanted going into? This I last think it's weekend? been it's been really good, you know, and he's uh, tried to obviously command the huddle. I mean, that's not never an issue, you know, with Ryan and you know coaching these guys up and a you know, fine line of getting them the speed and the throws that he needs to to feel sharp and to feel ready and to be accurate and decisive, uh, letting the ball go. What has Ryan's professionalism meant? Not just this week, but just throughout the season, considering not being a starter and not getting this chance. Well, we've talked on it. Uh, it's, not, it's, a, it's a tough spot, but I think you know, the biggest thing that he's handled it with, with class. And you know, you can be uh, disappointed, but also still be supportive and be about the team. I think those things can can still happen, right? And. Uh, there's a lot of emotions that, that go on with each individual player, uh, their role on the football team, uh, and how that changes throughout the year. But I do appreciate Ryan's professionalism, like you mentioned, uh, throughout. Anybody move out? Uh, Caleb Farley, TK McClendon, Anthony Kendall, and Colton Dow. Uh, an incentive in the contract or? You may be uh, eyeballing a couple of those heading into this last game, trying to make some extra money. Uh, I'm just trying to go out and win a game. Uh, that's that's my objective. To go win, go out strong. Yeah. What's it feeling like when you're going into the last game of the year with this group uh, and knowing that you know the playoffs are out out of the question, but knowing that 
you know, obviously there'll probably be some changes next year. Um, it's tough, obviously, but you know, going out, uh, beating a good team like Jacksonville will obviously make things better. Uh, and just, you know, trying to play a complete game, trying to, you know, continue, uh, you know, where we left off from Miami. Uh, we felt like, you know, we did some good things, but obviously we didn't continue it. So uh, just trying to go out and play a complete game is, is our focus right now. Obviously, you wish you in the playoffs, but how, how'd you, maybe would you describe your year here as it comes to a close on Sunday? Uh, I would say it was, it was decent. Uh, you know, I hold myself to a high regard. Uh, so, you know, I feel like any time I'm out there on the field, uh, whatever ball come my way I should catch or whatever block I should make, I should make. Uh, so, you know, I feel like it was decent. It wasn't bad. But, um, you know, I knew the kind of offense I was coming into, run first offense. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to come out and try to help these guys win. Uh, you know, I knew I wouldn't be, uh, you know, targeted like, uh, you know, some number one receivers are targeted on certain teams, 15 or however so much times a game. Uh, but, you know, for me to have a 1,000 yards, uh, you know, if you play a lot of football, you know that's hard to do, especially in a, a run first offense. How about team culture, city, with Nashville, this place been what you had in mind there? Yeah, uh, I've never really spent time in Nashville, but I'm from South Carolina, so I would say it's similar. Just, uh, you know, more restaurants, more people, similar vibes. Uh, it's good people, though. Uh, I love the city. Uh, you know, Nashville's treated treated me, uh, you know, like family, uh, welcomed me with open arms. Uh, you know, when I got here, they said, uh, you know, people people don't take pictures with, with you know, famous people. Uh, but I found out that's not true because yeah. <laughs> everybody has for pictures. But, uh, no, nah, it's a good thing, man. Uh, I appreciate I appreciate the city, man, for sure. How much you know, for me personally, I, I like challenges like that. I've never wanted to take the easy road and – just go do what everybody else think I should do or what everyone else should do. So for me, I loved it. I love having that challenge of, uh, you know, us interacting, you know, bumping heads, having good times, bad times, uh, you know, but I know Will has a lot of football to play in this league and to be part of that starting off, I think is, is special. Uh, you know, he's going to play longer than I will, uh, you know, so just being able to be someone that he can ask questions uh, to and, uh, you know, just give him an honest opinion. I think it's going to go a long way for his career. I'm What's sorry, the biggest please. thing that you learned about Will that you think positions him for success in that tournament? Uh, how competitive he is. Been around a lot of quarterbacks. He's he's in my top. He's in the top three of competitive quarterbacks I've played with. I'm sorry if you've answered something similar already. How excited are you about the prospects of next year when when the roster is likely to look a lot different? Uh, I can just focus on this year, Paul, uh, in this game. You going to talk to us next week? You going to talk to us Monday and Monday? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, but, you know, I'm focusing on uh, this game. And when you ask me what am I, you know, looking forward to uh, next week, Monday, uh, it'll probably be uh, spending time with my kids, you know, in off season. So, uh, you know, I doubt I can give you a PSA of management questions and, and answer that. Oh. Coach told, forgive me for you off, but Coach told us that um, Channel Hill is going to be the starter. Just what have you seen with him this week, and how do you think you guys are going to be able to connect out there on Sunday? Uh, we've seen, uh, you know, we, we've been knowing Channel Hill, so we've seen, uh, we've seen him all year, and we know what he can do. Uh, you know, he's he's hungry, just like we are to go out and get a win. Uh, so I think everybody's going to, you know, give it their all this Sunday. It's not a it's not a game where we're just going out and and looking at our record, like uh, you know, we're, we're this. But uh, you know, I think you're going to see a team that's going to compete Sunday. How important is it for you guys to end it on a high note? Uh, I think it's important uh, for for everyone in here. Just morale going into the off season. Uh, you know, a lot of people might not be here. Some people might be here. So uh, you know, some people are playing not just for this team, but other teams as well. You want to name the other two quarterbacks who are on Will's level, competitive wise? Last pay per view. 